All right, man. Now, this poem is going to be about Roof. Now, I bet y'all don't even know about Roof. All right. Now, Roof, she's another Hebrew, of course. A Moabite, born of incest. Now, this is after Sodom and Gomorrah's destruction. She's a descendant of Lot. Now, the Moabites, they had a god, and his name was Chemos. C-H-E-M-O-S-H. And the Israelites, you know, they had Yahweh. Oh, yeah, we can't forget uh, Milcom. He's another god. Didn't real God just end his madness? Lot's wife was just turning to salt. Baby, don't turn around. Salt can't be no better than salt for a fire. What was her name anyway? Well, anyway. So now, listen. Now, God done ended the world for the same melee. <laughs> it's hard to leave the Old Testament because it's inconsistent. It's, it's um, benevolent mixed with revenge and wickedness. If you just listen to the math, you'll kick this bad habit of listening to clergy that can't explain easy questions on how the impossible happened. Except to say that God is just great. And that's it. Man, tell me something I don't know. I know God is great. But what I want to know is how 15 cubits, which is only 22 feet, how did the Semitics <laughs> get to Mount Ararat, which is 12,782 feet in the air, by the way? That's a canon now. I mean, then, now it's Turkey. Constantinople land. Not the Middle East. Come on, man. You got to spare me. Dinosaurs, aliens, reptiles, 40 gods, a pope, a telescope. A roundish flat earth, black death from birth, and for what it's worth, sir. I'm gonna put it all about waffles when I read and write this stuff. Cause it's corrupt. Nefarious. Heinous. Man, just plain no sleazy. And all it shows me is that not even God. You hear me? Not even God is S A F E. Peace. Creation back.